What's happening, my peeps? Dude, it has been a crazy, crazy weekend. I was all sad about not being able to top dress and sand level for Memorial Weekend. Lo and behold, now even it was a good thing I didn't even do it because we had, I don't know, you saw the hail. We had flooding rains. I mean, this rain is just nonstop this year. We've been getting rain like almost every week. It's been so crazy. And I think I got a little lucky by not doing the top dressing uh, Memorial Weekend because I think that would have really screwed me. I mean, I would have had that thing washed off into the street. So uh, May 31st is still the time that it's going to be delivered. It's still scheduled to come. And I was going to scalp yesterday. Obviously could not because we had about 1.3 inches of rain and things have dried up now. Um, today we did, we're forecasted for more rain today, which didn't happen, which is a good thing. Uh, for, we are forecasted for rain tomorrow, um, but it's dropped down to like 20%, so which is good news, right? So I think uh, I'm going to cross my fingers and just hope that we can get this project going. But uh, I'm going to try to scalp today. Uh, tomorrow, midday, I'm going to rent an aerator machine. Hopefully I get my hands on, aerate the lawn, fertilize, and then come Friday when the sand gets delivered, hopefully I'll have carbonized PN down or if, if I can get that down um, before the sand, then I'll just go ahead and top dress with carbonized PN Friday, and then I'll sand level uh, on Saturday. But other than that, guys, let's get the scalp going. Let me show you a little bit of the lawn, see, show you how things have been progressing. It looks pretty bad right now, just to let you know. So basically, <laughs> the lawn is pretty much burnt from uh, applying my herbicides um i think i put too much surfactant to be honest with you guys uh i've never really measured out my surfactant so um and also quinclorac was uh, mixed with the celsius uncertainty to kill off uh, some of the st augustine's over in the neighboring neighboring lawns but you can see right here like look at these patches this is obviously the spots where um, i had applied the herbicide and yeah i think I think it's just the, the whole the whole yard is just due for a, a, a redo now. So we're going to scalp this down. Obviously when I fertilize it and everything's going to grow back, top dressing with sand and everything, uh, everything should be taken care of by that point. So yeah, um, lesson learned. I'm going to start measuring out my uh, surfactant when I apply it. We did hit a uh, 98 degrees I believe on Saturday, which was a few days before Memorial Day. So that basically caused the, uh, these burn spots here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get that scalp going, guys. Uh, let's not waste any time. And FYI, guys, I have the mower set to 0.3 inches. So I'm pretty scared. I've never mowed this low. So this will be the first time. Let's find out uh, if I'm going to get it down the dirt. I doubt it, but yeah, I'm a bit scared going down that low. But let's just go ahead and do it YOLO.
dude, I actually like how low it is. Man. You know, I got 11 blade Toro, right, Greensmaster? I think it's meant for these type of hydro cuts. I mean, this looks awesome. And uh, it's pretty nice. I like how it looks. It's crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, I went over this section about like five times. Every time I went over it, I kept on picking up some debris and some, some uh, grass. So yeah, the scalping thing just keeps on going and going. But all right, let's move on to the next section. Show you guys a little bit what scalping looks like. Funny man, I really love how low this looks. I just don't think I can keep up with it. Looks really good though. Like I can see every single undulation, unevenness of the ground, cutting it at 0.3 inches. That's just the beauty of it. When you have a real mower, you can get low and you can just see everything, which is really cool. I really, really, really wish I could cut this, this height of cut uh, regularly, but I just can't do it. But yeah, I got uh, center lawn. That's the last one left. Let's go. Well, I'm out of luck. So much for uh, trying to get aeration done today. Um, the weather's gonna be like this pretty much all day, on and off rain. So definitely not a good, uh, not a good choice to try to do some aeration now. The ground's gonna be a little bit too soft. And if I do hit the holes, poke the holes, um, they're probably gonna get filled in with mud. So, probably not a good idea. Let's see where we're at right now. We're at like 0.1 inches right now of rain. Probably gonna end up with like close to half an inch later. But yeah, it was raining probably about a good 15 minutes. There's a little, there's a little flood spot right here. I'm gonna put big sand over there in that spot. Here's everything cut at 0.3 inches. Lowest I've ever gone with the Greensmaster. And honestly, I really like the height of cut. Wish I could do it, but I don't have the time. So you notice uh, these brown areas and then these green areas. So the brown areas are the high, high spots of the lawn and the green areas are the low spots. So, Depending on when I do the sand, the sand's coming in tomorrow, without a doubt. But if I don't get aeration done on time, I'll, the sand's just going to sit there. I'm probably going to go to Harbor Freight today and uh, pick up some uh, tarp paper cover so I can cover the sand, prevent it from getting wet from the rain. But yeah, so the, the brown spots are going to be the high spots of the lawn, right? Cause that's those, where the, those are where the scalping is occurring. The green spots are basically the the low spots of the lawn. So those are the areas where we need to fill sand and those are gonna be the primary areas where I focus on. So there's a chance I may have to scalp one more time um, before 
depending on how many days go by, because I know the grass is going to be actively growing. It's probably uh, has grown since last time I, since last night, since I cut it. So um, I might have to do another scalp at point three, and then uh, after the aeration and when it's time to top dress with the sand, I'm going to be focusing on these green areas. So that tells me where the low spots are in the lawn. So follow the color, follow the green. And that's where you know that's where you need to put the sand but either way uh, I'm gonna cover the entire yard with with sand to where you don't see much grass at all so to make sure that everything's uh, flat but the only thing now is just to hope that we don't get any hard-hitting rain that's the biggest thing vibration too that's pretty cool yeah I think that's oh, it okay about nice yeah looks like it's nice and dry too thought it was gonna be wet ready to ready to rock and roll soon Eight yards. I can't remember if this is more or less, but oh well. Can't do much about it. It's pretty clean stuff. This is the cleanest sand I've. I mean, I only I've only done sand once, so it's my second time. But this is a lot cleaner than the previous one from last year. I might try to get the old core aeration machine today. Um, we will have to wait and see. It's uh, we oh yeah, let's go check how much rain we got last night. So I didn't uh, empty out the gauge, and we were at 1.4. Let's see where we're at after last night. So we're at yeah, two inches, exactly at two inches of rain, right there. So we got 0.6 last night. 1.4 total yesterday and 0.6 last night. Yeah, grounds were definitely soaked. Um, no chance of me rescalping the lawn. I don't think that's even possible this, today. It's way too wet. Um, may just forego that and just go ahead and start aerating. But first off, uh, I'm gonna let it dry. I don't think there's any more rain in the forecast for today. Today's Friday. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday is good, looking good. It's only 20%. So I think we're ready to rock and roll for this weekend. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get it all done. Um, so game plan, we're going to core aerate the lawn. I'll lay down 14714, Turfplex, Nutrizolve. I'm going to lay down my fungicide as well. I'm going to let the liquid fert um, dry up. Next day, tomorrow, I should be laying down RGS and Humic 12. And I'm going to lay hydrotain as well, and then uh, carbonized PN, and then after that we'll, we'll do top dressing with sand. But we got to wait and see. I mean, uh, maybe I'll get that all done by Sunday, maybe not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the sand here. Sand's actually, I'm surprised that it's actually dry. It's actually not wet. I mean, it's slightly wet, but it's not too bad. Got a little clumps here. But this is clean. This is really clean stuff. Uh, there's a little rock here. No, it's not a rock. So yeah, it's pretty clean stuff. This is the cleanest, uh, cleanest sand I have had. All right, guys. Appreciate you all watching. Please like and subscribe to stay updated for new content.
And in the next video, I'll be core aerating, fertilizing, and top dressing the carbonized PN. So I'll see you over there.